Thank you. I give the call to the member for Hughes. It was disappointing but unexpected that we heard today that the AGL has rejected an offer for the Liddell Power Station. Now, it was only a, only a few short years ago that AGL actually ascribed a zero value to Liddell yeah, in, an, right. in an investor that's presentation, right. no less, an investor presentation. And now they say $250 million, a quarter of a billion dollars cash up front. No, no, yeah, we don't want yeah. it. The reason they don't want it is because it is worth more to them. Their bottom line is better with that power station closed than it is open. Yep. That is why they've rejected that, because they want to push up the wholesale price of electricity. Right. Now, we have a job, a responsibility here as members of parliament. This is an essential service. If our competition laws are not adequate to act against such anti-competitive conduct, I say we should amend our competition laws because this conduct of AGL will harm consumers, it will harm industry, it will harm all Australians, Madam Deputy Speaker, and we cannot sit by and stand for it. As I speak now, Liddell Power Station is currently supplying 1,600 megawatts into the New South Wales grid. That is approximately 20 per cent. When that pulls out, that is not available, prices will rise significantly for consumers. We have to act against this. We cannot stand by and watch such anti-competitive conduct.